Before Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills came out, I avoided watching the trailers. I had such high anticipation for those movies that I didn't want to know anything about anything. I didn't know what I didn't want to know what the plot was. I didn't want to know what the reviews were. So I stayed away from that sort of stuff as much as I could. And yeah, especially trailers. If they would play during the movie theater, I mean, during a movie, you know, when I was at the theater, I would close my eyes, plug my ears, or just walk right out. The disappointment that was Halloween Kills has taken away that anticipation level for me. So... I'm going to go ahead and check out the trailer for Halloween Ends. I am not as excited about this as I was for the previous two movies. And I don't have a good feeling about where they're going to take this franchise. So let's see if the trailer changes my mind. I'm going into this quite cynical, but who knows? All right, let's go ahead and check it out. It's not very long. It's like, is that Jamie? Is that Jamie? It sounds like Jamie. No, it's him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, shit! <laughs> on his injured hand <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> i actually like that trailer that that was that was pretty well done it wasn't too long there will be more i really liked how they put this together see i i go into it cynical my mind is a little bit changed but i'll tell you what I'm still worried about what's going to happen in this movie because what they did in Kills was so ridiculous. They veered into that Michael is immortal type of territory again, which I have always hated. Yes, he has survived things in some of the previous movies, like in, in the first movie, you know, he survived the gunshots in the fall. But those injuries that he sustained in that movie and even... The injuries he sustained in 2018, you could be like, okay, you know, people have survived worse. But what he went through in Kills was just ridiculous, and he's still hopping back up and killing people en masse, y'all. He's never done that before in any of the movies. He's killing a whole group of people all at once. It was so ridiculous. It was so over the top. And... Very disappointing. And some of the acting was just not the best in here. It was like that movie was made by a totally different team than the 2018 movie, which I loved. I really, really liked that movie. And I expressed concern about Halloween Ends because my thought was, I don't know how they're going to be able to fix the mess that was kills. And if they don't view kills as a mess, well, they're just going to continue down a pathway that I personally don't think I'm going to like very much. This trailer gives me a glimmer, just a glimmer of hope because it reminds me of the showdown between them in 2018. I'm also a little concerned because I've heard talk that Fans of the series are going to, or fans of the franchise are going to be mad. I think Jamie Lee Curtis has made some sort of comment about that, that they're going to be mad. And other things I've heard uh, about it sort of warning the fans. And this makes me concerned that they're either definitely going to go the supernatural route, like what they did in the, uh, like, um, let's see, uh, four, five, six, especially six. And... 
and or that they're going to kill off the character of Laurie Strode. Which I I really do, I don't want that to happen. Some people seem completely fine with that happening, but damn it, I want her to be able to live a fulfilling life. I don't want her to be killed by this boogeyman that has haunted her for decades. I want her to have a happily ever after. What is... <laughs> Why can't she? I mean, I don't know. She might get one. I'm just starting, you know, I'm just worried that this is what's going to happen. Maybe by fans being mad, it's going to be something like that. But I hope, I hope what they're putting out there is just, it's just misleading information. I mean, obviously we'll know in a few months time when the movie comes out. But um, in the beginning, honestly, in the beginning, I thought it was Jamie Lee Curtis in the mask. I thought it was Laurie because the breathing did not sound masculine. I know that's so like, how can breathing sound masculine or feminine? But it sounded like maybe it was uh, Laurie playing Michael's game. That's that's what I thought at first. But that was not the case. I really liked how it showed him open the door, opening the door. And there she was waiting for him and I hope she kicks his ass. I mean, he, he needs to go. He needs to go and just be done. I'm, Cause I'm kind I'm like, I'm tired of Michael being invincible like Homelander in the boys, as I've mentioned before. And it makes him not scary. And it makes it just laughable when they turn him into a supernatural entity, which I have always hated. I, I will say that again and again. I've always hated that. And um, I know people have said, well, they kind of hinted that, that that he was or they outright said that that was the case, you know, in the first movie. But not really. They they didn't. It, it's not it's not overt, in other words. And like I said, the injuries that he sustained were not things that. Uh, or they were things that I could easily excuse away as like, yeah, he I could see him surviving some of those things like he wasn't shot in the face and when Loomis shot him and he's falling backwards well maybe some of the shots missed I don't know he he reacted like he got shot each time but you also don't know where he was shot and then he fell but it wasn't a huge fall that that would have necessarily killed him from the balcony like the second story balcony of a house so and then if you like retcon all the other stuff and you jump forward to 2018, the stuff that he goes through there also, you could you could see somebody potentially living. And that all changed with kills. So, you know, I, I, I want to enjoy the closing moment of this franchise or, you know, this series of movies anyway. And... I wouldn't enjoy it as much as I did 2018. I went into 2018 worried that it was going to suck and it didn't. I loved it. I went into into in, uh, kills. By the time I went, I actually went into the theater. I was hearing some concerning things and accidentally saw critic reviews uh, numbers and didn't want to see that. So I'm going into this with the opposite feeling that, well, no, I'm going into this with a similar feeling that I had with 2018. And maybe this time I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I still will be forever annoyed at what they did with kills. I think that was just a huge misstep and I really hope that things change for this one, but we'll see. It's, uh, uh, it's almost August. It's, Ju it's July, August, September, less than three months. I will be buying tickets as soon as a, a ticket, as soon as they go on sale. And, uh, D movie man and I had a discussion in the chat on my last live stream about, uh, doing something about Halloween, um, some sort, probably some sort of live stream discussion about ends, just like we did about kills last year. So um, maybe we will be happier this time around. Anyway, okay, well, I've chatted enough. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, yes, I enjoyed this trailer. It was fun. And hopefully the subsequent trailer we get will be even better or as enjoyable. And hopefully they don't give too much of the plot away. So...
Okay. All right, guys, that's it for now. Adios. Mm -hmm.